Welcome back to our video guys. We are back on the ice. Just got all set up. We are back out chasing Northern Pike. And uh, last week's video we put a giant sucker minnow down and on a tip up about 20 yards from the house. And it was crazy to see how much action came through on that giant tip up. And uh, versus in the house which was just 20 yards away we only had like one or two pike come through. Don't know if we're going to have as much activity today but we can only hope. So we're going to get our sucker minnow down. I'm going to use smaller ones today because uh, we saw last time it inhaled that sucker and just couldn't quite get that full thing in its mouth so minimize today the pike candy so hopefully they can engulf it and uh, get some good hook sets also want to say as you guys see in the background here we're going to be running two underwater cameras so the main camera we're going to be using today is the aquaview av822 and that's down there facing at our baits and then i had this idea last night since i got multiple cameras why don't we run one below the ice right facing these holes so in theory if we get into some fish we'll get them on camera striking and then coming up through the hole as this other camera is about a foot below looking at these two holes so we'll watch the fish hopefully come up the ice so let's get rigged up gonna be running the beaver dam tip up in the house so let's go ahead and get one of these pike candies here like i said before we're gonna go with the smaller size today just so they can uh, inhale it hopefully and uh, we get some fish topside. So we're going to send him down just so we can get a line and then uh, I picked up something different for jigging today. Saw it at the bait store so let's go ahead and get a line down so we're at least fishing and uh, as I'm yapping maybe we'll catch a pike. Looks like, looks like a school of per perch down there or something. Minnow is set, just right off camera here, and it looks like we've got a little school of perch already down there, so that's cool, good sign, you know, where there's perch, there's pike, so let's get my jigging rod set up, uh, going to be using medium heavy, Della Bay, rip and rattle, and then I was hoping it was going to be ready for this video, but I actually bought another heavy rod that uh, I'm going to hook up with uh, a nice heavy setup, and we're going to put the sucker minnows on the rod, so uh, hopefully if we get some fish on the sucker minnow, I can actually set the hook and crank it in, so excited for that. But for now, we'll just leave the tip up down. Let's get fishing. All right, so what we're going to jig today is I was walking around the bait store getting some minnows, and I saw this jig caught my attention. It was a tube jig, and uh, what I'm going to do is I see a lot of people, you know, in the summertime or overseas and, you know, fishing tube baits for pike. So, you know, we thought, let's try a tube bait in the winter. Haven't done that before, and I like to try things different. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the package. Here it is. I'll tie it up, Mr. Tube, and uh, we're going to send that down the hole. Not sure what it's going to do down there, but we're going to find out today. There it is. Ooh, that looks nice. Turn the camera a little bit. All right. We are locked. We're loaded. We have a couple things, hopefully, um, working for us today. We've had stable weather for about three, four days, and uh, we got a cold front coming tomorrow. We're going to get crazy cold weather the next week or two, negatives. And uh, so hopefully these fish are sensing that. They're going to be on the roam and uh, hoping to put on the feed bag. So let's get fishing. See you guys underwater. Look at that. This bait's actually pretty nice. Hoping we get some fish to look at it today because uh, look at that nice kick up and a little flutter down with that back to fin. Or that back spoon, I should say. Wow, that's gonna be the ticket today. We just need Mr. Pike to come through and take a look at it and uh, and he'll probably choose the sucker minnow, but we're going to find out. Come on. Get up here. <laughs> He's trying his hardest. All right. Just a little update. It's been about an hour and a half, getting close to two hours here, and uh, we haven't had a pike come through. So maybe this weather's actually turned them off versus what I thought maybe was going to turn them on. These perch keep coming through. And I got my little Google Eye tungsten jig right here. I'm just going to throw this down here, ice one of these perch. I'm sure the second I do this, the Mr. Pike will come through, but let's just get one of these topside. Maybe that's what I need to do is get a fish topside to get Mr. Pike through because they're going to inhale it. Boom, got him. You saw him come up on the camera, perch, and uh, we're about to see him go back down. All right, we'll get back to the tube jig. At least we got one fish top sign. No skunk today, but we're going for Mr. Pike, so let's get this back down. 
And uh, I'll just leave that other rod kind of right on the side in case uh, maybe a crappie or a bluegill or get some random fish that might want to eat a small little tungsten. But the goal today is a pike on the tube jig. So let's keep jigging. He's definitely interested. Looks like a decent size too. Love how pike like to analyze the bait. They stare at it for so long before they strike and I'm gonna say he's gonna strike. Doesn't look like he can care about my tube jig. He's inching on that sucker middle. How did he get off? Oh, he literally inhaled that minnow. That was awesome. It took a couple hours to finally get our first pike to come through, but uh, we all watched him sit and stare at that bait. I knew he was going to hit, and uh, bummer. I got to get back down. New sucker on, and uh, best part is, is that we got pike coming through, so we still have time. I'm going to get back down there. perch down there. You know what? Still bummed that we lost that pike. And uh, I'm going to throw this little tungsten down and maybe we can just catch him just so I can feel better about myself. Where you at, buddy? You still down there? There he is. Alright. We got to watch something come up that new camera view. Whoop. Oh. Got two of them. Alright, you come here then. One's going to eat. Come on. You're missing it. Maybe your buddy will eat it. Oh, come on. You gotta actually eat it. Got him. Stand up there. We lose big pike and we catch small perch. We'll watch him go through. We'll drop back down there. Let's keep jigging this tube jig. I really want to get a pike to look at it and, uh, you know, see what he thinks of it. Here we go, guys. Here we go. He's looking at my tube jig. Come here. Come here. Scare him off. Looked like he liked what I was doing. And then, uh, I gave another flutter and he just took off. I'm gonna have to say these fish are probably really liking that slow movement right now and, uh, that's a bummer. Oh, no.
All right, looks like that pike isn't coming back, but uh, either way, I was just about ready to leave and call the day, and uh, he poked his face in and looked like he was engaged in that tube, and uh, darn it. But hey, that's how fishing goes. Either way, you know, nothing topside today, nothing crazy. Uh, you know, we had a few pike come through the camera, but uh, pretty cool little bait. You know, we only had that last pike to look at it, and uh, he was engaged, and I, you know, fluttered him off, but... Uh, I think if I would have held this still, you never know, but he may have hit it. And uh, it's the old shoulda, coulda, woulda. But either way, fun day. Always out fishing. I don't always have to catch fish to have a fun day out on the ice. So hope you guys enjoyed. We'll be back out. Had the new camera view. Let me know what you thought of it. Bummer we couldn't get a pike up the hole. That's my own fault. But uh, you know what that means is we'll have to wait till we come back out for another video. And hopefully we get to see a pike come up the new camera view. So until then, we're about to go into a deep freeze. Not sure what these pike are going to do after that, but we're still going to come out fishing. We'll keep on grinding, and uh, stay tuned. We'll see you back for another video.